Hello and welcome to this five minute video on increasing mobility in your shoulders, your wrists, and your hips. Usually when we sit at desk for long periods of time, the shoulders can get quite tight, the wrists can become sore, and the hips, of course, can also be quite tight. So we're going to start in a seated position. And you'll notice that the knees will likely draw up away from the mat and the floor when the hips are tight. So you can take a pillow, slip it underneath your buttocks and elevate your hips so that they're higher than your knees. And even still, you may find that knees will lift a little, but that elevation will feel much more comfortable in maintaining an upright posture. And you can always slip additional pillows or props underneath your knees. Now draw your arms out in front of you and take your thumbs, bring them in towards your palms and then wrap your fingers around. We're going to do eight wrist rolls. First going to the right, and then going to the left. And then just switch it out. Great, now bring your arms down, and now shoulder the rolls going eight times in one direction. And then eight times in the other. Good. Now draw your arms out. Take a knee your thumbs in towards your palms and then wrap your fingers around your thumbs. We're going to do shoulder flossing. We'll do four of one variation and four of the other. I'd like you to synchronize your breath with the movement as you do this. So as you inhale, guide your arms up. As you exhale, let your shoulders relax. As you inhale, draw your arms out to your side. And then as you exhale, rotate so that the back of your hands are facing forward. Draw your arms behind you. And then as you inhale, draw your arms all the way up. And then as you exhale, forward. And we'll do this again for three more times. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Two more. And try to maintain an upright posture as you do this. Now this time, once you draw your arms forward, bring your arms out to your side. And we're going to do four now shoulder rolls going in one direction. And then four going in the other. Now, four wrist rolls going in one direction. And then four going in the other. Good. Now draw your arms forward. And this variation, as you inhale, draw your arms up. As you exhale, let your shoulders relax down. But this time, rather than having the back of the hands facing forward, you're going to have your palms facing forward. So imagine that you have a strap and you're going to take this strap and draw it up and overhead. And then as you draw your arms back behind you, rather than letting the elbows bend, keep your arms straight. And then imagine you're pulling that strap up and over your head and then forward. So again, we'll synchronize the breath with the movement. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, and then one big inhale, and exhale. Wonderful. Two more times. Inhale, exhale, inhale, 
exhale. Inhale and exhale. Last one. Good. Now draw your arms again out. This time, though, press the heels of your hands away from you. Have your fingers pointing up towards your ceiling to the best of your ability. And again, we're going to do four shaky rolls going one direction and four the other. Good. Now draw your arms forward, bring your arms up, take your right hand down your back, take your left hand to your right elbow, breathe here for four breaths. And then release, cross your left arm over, let your left shoulder relax. Now draw your left arm up, left hand down your back, right hand to your left elbow. Four breaths. And then release, cross now your right arm over, let your right shoulder relax down. And now bring your hands onto your knees. Take now your right hand to your right knee and your left hand to your foot and rock forward and back. Now, as you're doing this, you may feel that you can comfortably bring your knee into the inner crease of your elbow, in which case you can rock here. Alternatively, you can take your foot and guide it into the inner crease of the opposite elbow as well, and then interlace your fingers and rock from side to side. Good. Now take your right hand to the edge of your foot and press forward and back. Good. Now release, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. So taking your right hand to your left foot, left hand to your knee, rocking from side to side, or placing your knee into the inner crease of your foot, or taking your foot into the inner crease of the opposite and rocking from side to side. And now again, you can take your left hand to the edge of your foot and press forward and back, forward and back, forward and back, forward and back, and again. And now bring your hands together at your heart, interlace your fingers, press your palms forward, Bring a little bend to your elbows. Draw your navel in towards your spine. Breathe into your upper back. Bring your arms up. Reach, reach, reach. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale. So that concludes our five-minute mobility for the shoulders, the wrists, and the hips. I hope you are able to join me for part two of this video. We're going to come onto our hands and knees and move through some additional mobility exercises and stretches in all three areas of the body. I look forward to seeing you in that video too. Namaste.